Okay. I was just telling the cameraman, he was, uh, my nigga Mason, you know, we had Tim Cordell, he got a brand new HD camera. And I just, I told him he should, let me play with it when I'm full of that pink cocaine. I had him up with showing like a goddamn Stephen King. Cause, uh, I just shot many, many a porno. Okay. I, I, I think if I ain't rap, I'd be a, a porno actor and director. Uh, I'd be a triple threat. <laughs> okay, I act direct and right. Please. Okay, well, anyway, that's another story another time. Once again, I am Lord Infamous. This girl. Futuristic Valley Valley Hunter. Kaiser Soze. The true king of hardcore. We all know. I'm saying. I, I started this demonic shit. I started this evil shit. I don't like being in the sun. Like, you don't get up to hell. Like, the sunset, you know. So I said like dusk. Yeah, dusk. Anyway. Uh, right now, we're working on, um, Scarecrow's Terrible Box Group. And, um, but that's in the works. Um, uh, uh, I got so many things in the works right now. But mainly, what I'm focused on right now is Back from the Dead. I have an album called Back from the Dead. Um, I did it with, uh, Lil White, RT. I don't know. I'm on iTunes right as we speak right now. But, uh, there should be some, uh, CD copies, hard copies. For those who um, don't know, uh, production uh, lingo, uh, you know, um, how should I say, distribution lingo. When you have something on iTunes, you know, you order it online or the internet. But, uh, sometimes this music business is so, uh, um, fucked up these days that, uh, um, you have to kind of test the water with your project before you just really want to press it up and put it out. That's, uh, there's so many politics in this game that people try to, um, fuck you out and play games and the streets, um, are trying to make their money too, so, you know, people are real down low and they go back to your music, so sometimes you have to do, uh, shit like that. You're a rapper and you want to survive out. So I'm not one of these rappers that flies. I got to sell a lot of dope. Besides, I couldn't sell dope anyway because I do too much of it. <laughs> I'd probably do more drugs than these, most of these rappers think they sell. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> call it what you want, though. I get high. That's so secret, right? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, matter of fact, uh, that's what made me a starter. <laughs> Celebrity Rehab told me, uh, they give me on there, they, they probably give me a meeting out of the episode, cause I would shoot, I would shoot, uh, the motherfucking, uh, ratings out the roof. Shit. <laughs> they probably need me on for three seasons. I had Dr. Drew in the chair, uh, I'd be at it getting high with Dr. Drew. <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, back from the dead, man. I'm oh, asking right now. I'm saying, uh, scared to go terrible already out there. Uh, scared to go terrible too, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, right now we're focusing on back from the dead, back from the dead, you know what I mean? The daily scriptures, man. And I guarantee you, man, uh, you know what I'm saying, all of the shit you've been hearing out there, that, uh, me and my man have been putting out to the season of Friday, the black man shit, that's just, Rich type shit, cause we've been hearing a few comments about people saying, uh, that's not, they don't sound like the old Lord. Like, lyrically wise, they're like, you know what I'm saying, the Lord is at the brain, and, you know what I'm saying, he ain't cut off with the flow. It's like, the music don't sound the same. But the music don't sound the same because we actually just be being that fucking off, and we just put the shit out because, well, I got a lot of hardcore Lord of fans, I just want to hear me 
spit, you know what I'm saying? So I just spit for them because I love my fans, man. Because without you, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I spit right here. Gang banging my ass, I'll rob and money. Motherfuckers watch this shit right now. So, uh, huh. I'm doing something real bad too, man. Yeah, I'm doing something real bad to you. Anyway, that's another side of the story, too. But anyway, uh, we're, uh, we're, uh, about to finish up, uh, the album, so we're about to, uh, about to do an intro and outro and shit like that. Maybe drop a hot burst real quick, you know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? What's your project? Uh, yeah, uh, there's been a lot of talk lately. Uh, everybody knows that, you know, three some floppy is separated right now. Uh, Crunchy doing his thing. Uh, Boo and Coop doing their thing. Uh, Bow and Juicy doing their thing. You know, you know, there's many people who are aware of the problems in the industry. And, uh, yeah, I just seem to have my own personal interest. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm not on the album because of uh, schedule conflicts with, uh, you know, see, it got so big, it's like the dance out, so, uh, uh, Project Pat. For those who, who may not know the history, um, me, my brother DJ Paul, started off as the serial killers, putting out these tapes. To junior high school, I went to high school. I went to junior high school, there's a school down there. The PhD zone, Black Haven zone, which was once called White Haven, because it was Haven for the white folks. But it's a hood where Elvis Presley lives. I'm saying, uh, but now it's like a fucking war zone. <laughs> so I did, uh, went on to hear Chris. Called it Kill Chris, so, but, uh, I'm saying, that's why I need a person to start banging and shit. So, in case you don't, uh, pee game, you know what I'm saying, uh, I'm a disciple. I'm in Paris with a 50 cal rifle, with a nice scope, ready to bust your cantaloupe. So, pee game, nigga. The six knows it's on me and do the name of the group. So I'm kind of going to the six shit, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and plus, uh, I'm being known for being satanic. Okay. Uh, and I know you see the rosaries around my neck. But see, but it's like this here. For there to, for, for there to be a good, there has to be evil. Um, and, uh, I know like shit, like I would contradict myself because yes, uh I believe in Jesus, but I don't believe in Jesus the same way you believe in Jesus. Jesus wasn't no hope. Jesus was a gangster. Jesus came here to, to take some shit he knew he was had to go through to say all you punk motherfuckers asses from going to hell. You know what I'm saying? But hell is right here, right now. This is hell. So to survive in hell, uh, those of us who, uh, had the nuts to rebel against the system, you have to do some few things to get anything in life. The dope game, you use the game, any game you're in. You playing with the big boys, you gotta be ready to do some dirt. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, part of uh, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, if you're not establishing some kind of mob or some kind of organization or in a position of power, you will follow weak out here. But, uh, if I'm not wanting to be a follower, anything I did, I did it on my own. Just like on my G. I cheated myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have to be rushing my organization. 
just call us anytime I'm a bitch nigga fuck with me or I do a show or whatever. I need to pick a nigga to so shoot a pistol for me. I'm a motherfucker jumping in no motherfucker. Jumping away a nigga bullets, but I'm a motherfucking president. And I'm sure the Secret Service motherfuckers are nervous as hell about that shit. So I don't expect no nigga to shoot for me. I'm gonna shoot for my motherfucking self. Cause ain't no nigga gonna save me like I am. So, but no, if you don't know, I'm gonna blow your ass off if you try me. I'm gonna make you down. Don't know that. That's real. I put it on my kids. I put that on your kids. I kill your kids. My back. I pray for niggas to diss me. I pray for niggas to uh, won't wish me for me because I do 20 years for one of these niggas real quick. Real quick. Matter of fact, I can do a few years of standing on my head. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> uh, I hate rappers, really. Because most of these niggas are wussy. Uh, like, uh, that's why, I'm saying, like I said, I hate most motherfucking rappers. Unless you were down with my clique, with my, my squad, my circle. I don't too much deal with other motherfucking rappers. I'm saying, now business is business. I don't have to like it, it's a business, I'm sure. That's how my money is. We do what we do. That's how it is. Don't even be friends, motherfucker. Do it. And, uh, and for all the motherfuckers who think the Lord is going to be somewhere, the Lord is going to be better off. Since he's no longer with three six mafia, he got me fucked up. Um, uh, I got money to do whatever the fuck I want to do. I don't sit in one spot too long. I'm always in something. Really you may not even know I'm there. Cause you wouldn't expect a nigga like me to be in certain places. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was, I was a millionaire still in the motherfucking projects. But they tore down. We just clean home, you know what I'm saying? When I first started putting it down, you know what I'm saying? I was in between, like, PAG and uh, South Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Beach Street, what's up, you know what I'm saying? South Parkway, what's up, you know what I'm saying? Mississippi, you know, kind of home, you know what I'm saying? That's why, you know I'm saying? I really got tight with my guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, whatever I want to call it to be, So, we ain't dope all day, cooking all day, fucking. 
Actually, I've been crunchy on the bus, man. I was coming for the project. He was going from like Scudderfield. I was coming from Hurt Village. It was just a little project. I was saying it. I have to take the time. And, uh, and the nigga did. Right, we just like, 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 it's, it's almost strange. Well, I, I tell the truth, the shit was kind of like, the devil put this shit together, man. Can't you? saw me on the bus. We all managed to gravitate for him. And, uh, he told me he 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 danced, he rapped, he played the same shit I claimed. So and uh, saying, saying real niggas really not real. What just so happened? The skate ring that he danced at, Paul, so happened to have me take it too. And uh, he so I said, man, I'm into the ain't crunchy, man. And his ass off, and I'm saying he got a little flow to him, so he like, man, I, I met this nigga named Black too. So I'm saying, so, then I then, then I know Coop, he, he was uh, from Texas. You know what I'm saying? Crunch and Coop, they were both of them and shit like that. So they both of them, they both of them were like on the run for the system, so they was going from house to house and foster care, foster care shit. Niggas count for bad households and shit, we was in the street, so, so, and who, uh, you know, she, out there doing her thing, hustling, she went to kill Chris too, so, uh, I am saying, I know, I made mean, a bitch who could wrap her ass off, I'm saying, so, she came along, scared him, he was already out, you know what I'm saying, doing his thing, at that time, he was fucking with his nigga named G.D. Squeak, at that time, it was like, was not only, Competition, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he obviously, it fell out, so he came to us well, to do a diss song against the other nigga he was going with, so that's just squeaky. You know what I'm saying? This shit in the past, so you know, I'm gonna take offense to it. I mean, nigga, well, damn, what? I mean, what can you do this type of shit happen, you know? So, we ain't, we ain't like to nigga some time either. Which is just long, long past. And we have no problem with these niggas being out. Cause actually, we are supposed to be in competition with the nigga. The nigga must be farmer, so obviously, you know what I'm saying? So we, we, you know, we definitely not gonna, not gonna beat with no mother that's garbage, cause that's a waste of time. So, you know, so we he's still doing his thing. Matter of fact, he producing for a nigga that's hot right now. Well, we talked to a lot of motherfuckers, uh, personally, I'm not a fan of the but no beat, you know what I'm saying? But, okay. well, uh, so, the bank to have three shit came together. So, Skate came along, and, um, I told you about Coop. Oh, Cam Cross Coop, he was from Texas, you know. Uh, let's see, look fly against the black. When I, when I moved to um, Beach Street in South South Parkway, uh, Paul would come out there and get to school me up, so he uh, met this, these niggas out there called the Fly Against the Black, you know what I'm saying? Against the Black, I think he met him first, and he introduced him to the Fly. This time he found the Fly of Fly, uh, one of the others. The Fly of Fly of Fly, he went by both names, so, you know. Yeah, you have Triple Six Mafia. Uh, and a few others. You know what I'm saying? Things like Scamming, you know, see me. Homicide, what the fuck like that? T-Rock, K-Rock, all of them. The Chat actually was with us. 
and the very beginning, when we first were born, we found some solid and like real, real relationship. Uh, we got to the point that we couldn't press up so I don't persist no more because we got too big so fast, man, that we couldn't handle it no more. So we started working with this place called H&W Distribu- Distribu- Distribution. They, were, they pressed up CDs for one but they weren't the real regulated really because they were just pressing up shit for one of us and these shit pressed up. So and, uh, they had plenty of machines to do it with, so we went through them. <laughs> And then she got too big for them to handle, so. And so, we went to the lingo. This is a big distribution company in uh, the southeast. And uh, they, they gave us a deal, so. That's how Mr. Styles came to be. So, we, we got a pleasure to do Mr. Styles. Uh, we did that in our method. That's our deal with Carl Willie Mitchell. Um, and it was just like. When I was just pretty tight, like, but we was at the peak of our game, you know. And I, I'm not bragging, but I went in on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And so, and actually, a couple of songs I did off that album, he was a little sub major record deal. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, shit, what's your little? I don't relatively, oh, I think it was. Yeah, uh, Chili personally, uh, yeah. And they didn't want to allow. Then, which eventually went to Sony Columbia. And so, that was about three gold records later. Uh, by the time I went to Sony Columbia, uh, I was back for the first time. But, uh, the first gold record was, uh, World Domination, Chapter 2, World Domination. Tried to do it in. Uh, just for the sound, like we got a gold pack, man. That was like the one of the best moments of my life. I always dreamed of having a gold record. You know what I'm saying? So, once the one I got hold to that gold, first gold pack, man, I saw that motherfucking chick. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, I think the chick made my dick harder than the black did. But, uh, uh, it's, uh, much better pussy hunting you and you ain't got a hunt for pussy. Because <laughs> niggas getting raked every day, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. My, my bitches didn't like that too much, but hey, it is what it is. Matter of fact, peace to my baby mamas. Motherfuckers. <laughs> These bitches are so fucking good. <laughs> These bitches been robbing the shit out of here ever since. <laughs> uh, my stupid ass fucked around, had three kids in one year. About three different motherfuckers. I'm oh, saying. One of them is by uh, a cousin in the, in the group, as a matter of fact.